Hello and welcome back to another Art of Learning Small Town Business. And uh, we're continuing on with our business plan, how to write a small town business plan. And today we're going to be into part eight of 10 of those uh, business plans, or business plan, I should say, to cover financial projections, financial projections. And these are the projections that the bank is going to look at. What do you, what do you project that your small business is going to do over a set period of time? Because what they're looking for is, is this a viable business uh, based on what we know about other businesses of this kind? Are you going to be successful? Uh, do you have a plan that illustrates success to either an investor or a bank or wherever you're going to get financing? Or if you're just uh, uh, doing this, uh, uh, if, you, if you're already in business and you're doing a business plan, then you may have some of this information already if you've been in business for a while. But for startups and new businesses and whatever, that's kind of what we're gearing this toward today. So what we're going to talk about are the financial plan. And one of the things that you're going to need is a 12 month profit and loss projection. Now, notice in that sentence, it says profit and or loss. Don't panic that few businesses make it in the first year. So you may have a loss your first 12 months because you have a lot of things to pay for. You've got all your startup costs, you've got equipment, uh, anything that you may need to start your business will be in that 12 month profit and loss uh, projection. Now, uh, what the bank is really gonna look at is what do you project over the next three years? In other words, you're going to demonstrate that as you get customers, as your business grows, as people uh, return customers, uh, your profit starts to grow. And this is what the bank's gonna look at. What do you project is gonna happen over the next three years? And they're gonna, uh, they're gonna compare that to um, what they know as the norm for uh, your type of business. Might be a bakery, floral shop, uh, you know, a sandwich place, a pizza parlor whatever it is uh, they're going to compare that to the ratios of what you say is going to happen based on uh, the population of your town or your county uh, based on the income of that area and a lot of other things now i'm going to tell you how to get that free information and who will help you uh, create this profit and loss projection you're also going to need a projected cash flow statement and what that means is cash in, cash out. What do you, what are the bills going to be? Uh, what do you expect to come in? How many customers do you need, et cetera, et cetera. And you'll need an opening day balance sheet. Uh, what do you, when you open the doors, what do you have? Uh, what do you have in equipment? What do you have investment? What the, what's the worth of the company? All of those things. And they're also going to want to know, when do you think you're going to break even? When do you think you're going to break even? And uh, that means that uh, the business will uh, sustain itself. There's enough coming in where no, um, the loan is no longer needed. Money from the loan is no longer needed to keep the business open. Uh, you don't have to put any of your personal assets into the business to keep it open. So the break even analysis uh, is a very important uh, part that the bank or savings and loan or wherever you're getting money, investors, uh, what they're they're going to know they're going they're going to want to know how are you uh how how is this business going to work over this period of time now as you're a new business as i mentioned earlier you don't have a clue you don't know what your business is going to do in the first 12 months or the first three years and you don't know how much cash you need in how much cash you need out and that's why there are a couple of programs that will dramatically help you uh, with this and they're free. They're prepaid with your tax dollars. Uh, one of them is uh, the SBA.gov, SBA.gov. And you could go there. Uh, they have sample business plans. They've got all the uh, projections and information that you need. And also you want to look for the Small Business Development Center near you. Now there's a link in the description below as to where uh, you can locate your Small Business Development Center. 
This is a person who will sit down with you personally and they have the ratios the bank has. They know what a what a hardware store should do or a bakery or a, a pizza parlor or a accountant or a, a, a auto mechanic or whatever, floral shop, whatever you business you're going to start, they're going to have the ratios of that and they're going to help you uh, with that projection and there's no cost. You're going to be free. So we want to take advantage of that. Another place you can go is score.org, S-C-O-R-E, score.org. Uh, they also have business plan webinars that can help you with a projection of your cash and things like that. They also have a thousand volunteers who will help you. Uh, you can uh, put in your type of business and a list of names will come up and their qualifications and you can contact them and they will help you for free uh, over the phone, by email, uh, whatever. Uh, they've been in your business, your type of business, so they know the types of information that the bank is going to need and they will help you. So again, score.org, S-C-O-R-E.org, SBA.gov, and the Small Business Development Center. And I'll put a link to all of these in the description below so that you can uh, get this information. Uh, there are plenty of people that are going to help you. There's also small business loans available through the SBA. And the SBA and the Small Business Development Center can help you with that. If you need a loan from them, uh, if uh, you know banks have turned you down uh, and you have a feasible business plan, perhaps the uh, SBA or the Small Business Administration will help you with a business loan. So those are the things that you're going to need. And there is plenty of free help out there to get that information and present it to a bank in such a way that they will say, yeah, this looks like it's going to work. We're going to we're going to stand with you and uh, you're on your way to starting your small business. So that's going to wrap it up for us. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. If this information is helpful to you, we hope it will be. We want you to be successful. We want you to be a business owner out there and uh, we will give you all the support we can here. So please subscribe, ring the notification bell. You always be notified whenever we have another podcast. And also leave a comment. Uh, what What is the population of the city you're in? And uh, what are the challenges you might be facing? And we'll be happy to address those in uh, future videos. So. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.